all night good. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, to the TNT Explosion! Let's play. <sighs> Boom. Boom. You have your man here, Ted. Also Ted. It's away. Of course, as last time, we have Ray here. You guys remember Ray? Hi, Ray. Hey, hey, what's up, man? What's going on? Back again. You're back again. Guess who's back? <laughs> Oh, it's gonna be Zach great! Again. It's gonna be so good. Ignore the mouse motions that you see on the screen here, because we don't do that actually. I will ignore them. Ignore them this time. But listen to them next time. I don't care. Uh, today on the Explosion Cast, we're actually gonna be playing Super Double Dragon for the SNES. It is a super awesome game that I used to play in my youth, and we will talk more mm -hmm. on that a bit later. So. 1992. Dude, it's, it's been quite a while. So I forget, I forget which one where we can hit each other and which one we can't. So I'm gonna go with B. And we're B gonna, sounds then good. we're gonna try to hit each other. Oh, uh, yep, slap you around. Okay. <laughs> well, let's not do this one. Alright, cool. Okay, cool. So we're gonna go ahead and. Reset the game. Reset. Yes, yes, yes. So we're gonna go with A. We're gonna go with the ah. 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 I see what you did there. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> so ridiculous. But anyways, okay. So I'm gonna be playing double uh, super double dragon. Um for those of the you are not aware, uh this is the I, don't, I think it's a reimagining of the original Double Dragon uh, for the NES and Arcade. Mm -hmm. I think so. Okay. Okay, yeah. They kind of throw us into the mill so we don't have a chance to remember the controls. But I believe the Y is for punch, X is jump. I think oh, uh, I got here with B is block. B is block. And then. A is for I'm totally getting my butt kicked right now. It happens. I think you can. You know, he kind of reminds me of a like a white Blanca, like it's a human Blanca. Yeah, button. no, like when he gets all pissed off, guess what, Blanca? It's the same motions and everything. It's so good. Just let's see if I can block. I know you can block him if he tries to pitch. Oh, nice block. There you go. Bam, bam, bam. Slap, 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 slap. <laughs> bam. There you go. You got bitch slap. Ain't got time for that. No time for that. No time for that at all. So, man, how have you been since the time you played? Been alright, man. You know, I think uh, that last game we played was a nice refresher. Nice refresher. Can I get the jitters out of the? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, you were just talking about. <laughs> I, I actually was telling you about that. So, okay, so you, you guys saw how the boomerang just kind of went up and hit us in the face and everything like that. Well, in the Japanese version of Double Dragon, or the Super Double Dragon, which they call the Turn of the Double Dragon, mm -hmm. um, like you can actually catch the boomerang in there um, in the. In here in the American version, you cannot. And from my understanding, from what I was reading, and the reason behind that is the fact that uh, the American cartridges for the Super Nintendo, well, they they didn't have enough memory to to have those frames and those actions. So we're here in America, we're left with we gotta dodge the fuck out of that boomerang. Yeah, we gotta <laughs> dodge the fucking boomerang. <laughs> We don't get a chance or an opportunity to catch the boomerang if we, if we time it right. Oh, dude, I caught him. I did it. Yeah, it, it, does, it is a little skill acquired, so it's like bam, bam, bam. I got my staff ready, just in case. Ray's body is ready. It's oh, hard cool. to fire. Oh, dude, where'd my, where'd my bow go? This is kind of like... Oh, yeah, no, we, we transferred or transitioned, so... <laughs> we transferred. <laughs> We transitioned so you don't have it anymore. Oh. But there it is again if you want it. 
think I will take that. I need my staff back. And also another thing on the Japanese version, it is longer than this than this version of the American version of Super Double Dragon. Really? Yeah. And also the music is completely different too. But not completely different. Like they have some some of the same songs and stuff. It's just the, the arrangement is different. Oh. You know this game is a lot harder than I remember. Right. <laughs> and and that, that's actually another thing. Uh, uh, when I was playing the the Japanese version of Double Dragon, uh -huh. it, it did seem a lot easier than this one. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Like American gamers need more challenge. Yeah, America, in America, they they had stuff and tanks and missiles and stuff. We must empty up the difficulty. And they had. They collect, ah. they collect all the Pokemons. <laughs> Must have extra difficult. Yeah, extra difficult for the Pokemon Masters. So... Nah, I, I remember playing Double Dragon for the first time ever when I was a wee lad. I honestly was probably around 3 or 4 years old. Uh, my uncle, uh, David, uh, he actually... He actually had a Nintendo and he... Uh, had this game called Double Dragon 2, The Revenge, mm -hmm. on the NES, and I could never beat it. <laughs> it was just that difficult. It was a really difficult game, but it was so amazing. The game is amazing, and I remember the music and everything like that. And even nowadays, like, you have a lot of people remaking, remixing the the last the uh, boss battle. Music? Really? Yeah, the music on there, because it's so mm -hmm. good. You know, all this time I didn't know that this button was big. <laughs> yeah, no, there's, there's a kick button. Okay, cool. And then, and then you have your Tatsis. How, how did you do that? Please tell me. You, um, okay, so underneath your score right there uh -huh. is a little bar. If you hold one of the trigger buttons, or the R or L buttons, like, you get it. <laughs> these aren't triggers, these are super intense. Okay, the L or R button till about majority of the way, I think it's 75% of the way, mm -hmm. you can actually execute a Tatsumaki. Oh, dude, I don't really want to do it. Oh, shit. Do I think you? I did it wrong. Uh, right. Yeah, I think you have to punch, or you might have to kick, actually. Oh, okay. I see. Okay, so, okay, so I didn't, I never noticed that. So, bam. Oh, okay, see? It's like... I guess it depends on where the bar is at. Yeah. You have different kinds of moves. Okay. See, so like, I do like uh, yeah, for like, like for like this small part right here. Like if you barely charge it, you get a spin attack. If you do your uh, punch, and then you get a little jumping roundhouse. If you do the kick button. This guy is blocking everything I'm doing. Oh dang! Dang! Oh whoa! Oh yeah, and then Whoa. like you get your like rage mode Beast going mode? on. Yeah, it's it's your rage mode. Oh, oh dang. dang! You took the knife from me. Thanks. <laughs> oh no worries, man. You know, knife just got a big you know, hole in my chest, but it's fine. Now you just take a salt tablet. You know, just a couple sensu beans and I'll be a there you go. Snuff. Get some sensus. Ah, Blanca, leave me alone. Gotta learn how to block. There we go. Yeah. Damn. Airport. Yep. We're getting ready to go and take off you know, to a place of wonder. Packing our luggage. Packing the luggage and, you know. Dude, it's you. <laughs> it basically is. It's a, you. <laughs> it's a recolored, reskinned me. It's so <laughs> ridiculous. What were the names of these guys? Bimmy. Bimmy, 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 Bimmy and Jimmy. Okay. No, it's a uh, Billy, Billy Lee and Jimmy Lee. Okay. Hey, where did you get Bimmy? Bimmy is from the the mess up that they did on a uh, Double Dragon Three, the Power Stones, or Sacred Stones. Sorry, Sacred Stones. Oh, okay. And one of the intros on there, they they call Billy Lee uh, Bimmy. Bimmy, Bimmy Lee. Oh yeah, rack up the yeah. points. Rack up the points. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know what to do. 
Oh, that's so good. And then, well, okay, back, back to the story. Uh, uh, I, my first Double Dragon I ever played was uh, The Revenge, which is Double Dragon 2 on the Super on Nintendo. Sorry. And, um, yeah, I mean, whenever I'd go and visit my uncle, my uncle David, he would, you know, we'd always play and stuff and have so much fun. Mm. And then, um, you know, my later years and stuff like that, uh, well, not later, later years, but like Super Nintendo era, I guess you could say, uh, I came across Super Double Dragon at my local rental store. And I was like, oh my god, like, I remember playing this. So I rented it, picked it up, and this is the version that we that I played back in the day. It's oh. so good, just so amazing and everything. And with yeah. everything on the graphics and everything, I didn't know who Jimmy was because he's blonde and not, he doesn't look like normal. Like, mm -hmm. It's completely different because they used to be like the same person, just different clothes, different color coloring. You know? One was red, one was blue. So I was like, well, just one of them has to be one guy and yeah. one's the other. It's like, yeah, it's, you know, that, that has to be Billy or Jimmy and stuff like that, but, oh man. And then my, uh, my cousin, one of my cousins actually came over and me, he would always play this. Just try to get good. Try to get good. <laughs> try to get I'm, good. Not, I'm not proving too well right now, but man, it was, it was so awesome back in the day. Oh, watch out, yeah. Oh. Well, this is one of those games that's kind of like, at least for me, when I remember playing it, I would get as far as I could, and then just continuously just get better and better. Mm -hmm. so trial and error, I guess. Oh, absolutely. Did you just, like, punch? I punched the bomb. <laughs> That's a bomb, by the way. Oh, is it? Yeah, watch out. There you go. <laughs> well, I mean, it, it totally killed him. Now I gotta go back yeah, I have to over get, here. I have to get around the rail because I can't jump over. You know, I, I could have been a jerk and just not went back that way. Oh, that would have been terrible because <laughs> then we wouldn't be, the viewers would not like that because <laughs> we wouldn't be able to go anywhere. But that's okay. I'd be, yeah, be stuck forever. Forever See, stuck. I tried to totally kick that bomb, but it didn't work. I don't think the bomb likes me. No, you just have to get good. Like it's, get good? <laughs> there, there, there is a certain amount of skill in here. Like, Yes. Uh, oh, yeah. It's, it's crazy, actually. And you don't really, like, I never realized it until I was oh, like, older Ted, like 20s Ted, um, when I realized like, you know what, if I do this and this, I can totally dodge that move, and it turns out, yeah, if you do certain things and stuff like that, like when they jump at you, um, or they, because usually these guys jump up, and then they'll kick you when you're, like, dazed. Yep. You jump up before they actually hit you, Ooh. yeah, it's, it's crazy. That, oh yeah, watch out, kill me. watch out with those bombs that... Points now. The points. What you gonna do, man? Death. Nothing. Die. That's what he's gonna do. Or he's gonna blink. I don't even know if they actually die. Do they actually die, or they just kind of fade away into? They fade away and they come back as more enemies. enemies. They come. They multiply. <laughs> <laughs> See, like like that ninja guy that I just killed or I just knocked out right now. Guess what? He's a blue suit man now. He's a blue suit he's guy. Blue suit guy. Oh wait, look at him. Look at blue suit guy. Bam. Oh dang. Oh shit! Yeah, he's this guy's a lot harder than the other one. He's got some moves. You know, that's that's one thing that's so cool. Like nowadays in in games, like if you see if you see a character and it's just a palette swap of uh, another enemy or something, like you bash it for everything. He's like, no, that's stupid. Blah blah blah. It should be something different. Blah blah. blah. Like, be creative. But like back in the day, guess what? Like they had all kinds of palette swaps. It was the same character, just different color, and just yeah. a little bit more different. It's a new costume, bro. It's like, hey, you know what? I got a new suit. Suit, suit guy just got a new suit, and he wants to show it off. Exactly, to, man. To say, hey, guess what? I'm proud back, of, and I'm better than ever. Yeah, he's proud of his fashion, or her <laughs> fashion, or whatever. Yeah, yeah her fashion. You we'll could be, you could be like black, you could be white too. There you go. What? I was like, you know, give me your head. Let me kick it. You're gonna, you're gonna <laughs> put my knee into you. Yes. Tiger knee. Tiger knee. Oh man. This. This game. Yeah, it does require, like you said, a little bit more skill. I mean, most of the beat em ups is kind of like this, like 
oops, I'm, you know, hitting the same attack button and jump, maybe occasionally jumping. Yeah, like, uh, like for instance, if you hit down and the kick button, you actually do a double kick with that. Bam, low kick, high kick. Oh, look at that. Bam, bam, slap, 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 slap. Where's the baby powder at, man? <laughs> Adam, out of me! <laughs> so well, this hoe did not just say that. <laughs> this hoe did not just say that! Go ahead, hit me. Okay, no, okay, I was, uh, <laughs> just just kidding, like that. Just kidding. <laughs> oh, see? Uh, That's how you do it. Alright, cool. See, you totally. Can I pick it up? Don't, don't do it. Oh, oh wait, no, oh, no, no, wait. no, you're good. You're good. Whoa. You're good. It, I got, I got scared because it was flashing. I'm like, uh oh, that's oh, not, not good. I'm not, this is bad. Oh, you, you I totally, missed you. Yeah, missed that you. was close. I thought it was toast. I didn't mean to rhyme there, <laughs> but I totally did. You're Ooh. a poet, and you didn't even know it. Ooh, got rhyme skills. Rhyme skills. Prime Damn, time, dude. rhyme time. Mm -hmm. Tupaca. Tupaca. <laughs> Tupaca. It's like oh, that meme going around with like Chewbacca with the bandana on and everything. Really? Yeah. I've never seen that. No, like, they're like, oh yeah, and it's a red bandana like Tupac used to wear. So they call him Tupaca. It's so pretty Tupac. Tupac. This guy deserves a tattoo on his Yeah. You know what? Why is he dead? Yeah. Oh, dude. Oh, my bad. Wait, wait, no hold worries. Just, you can keep tapping it. Keep tapping it to maintain and keep tapping it. Oh, no. Maintain. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, and I didn't hit anybody. But it looks cool. I learned that from a certain other certain fighter. Other fighter. I totally didn't steal it. Named Hayu something something. I was talking about Ben Crafter. Ben Crafter? <laughs> that fighter, yeah. I remember him. Whoa, this Ben guy. Crafter. <laughs> right. Oh, this guy. This guy is mean. Dang. What you gonna do? Nothing. Alright, let's let him get on screen for a little bit. Oh, what? Oh, wait. Dude, every time you try to do the Tot series. <laughs> yeah, I was I was waiting for the Tatsu. You're like, man. oh yeah, I'm gonna get him this time. The nope. Tatsu, I want it. Oh, music. See in this this song right here, this is actually a, a remix of one of the original songs on the first album. Oh, okay. I, think I, like, I didn't know that. I think it's like Mission 3, or it might be the first one following I remember. Uh, it's been quite the while I've, since I played the first Double Dragon on NES. See, this is the first one I started with. So like, when I go back to the other ones, I'm just like, I don't know, it just feels weird to me. Yeah. Like, this is, to me, like, the definitive Double Dragon game. They, they need to make more. Like, they came out with uh, Double Dragon Neon uh, really recently, and the soundtrack to that mm -hmm. is so amazing, so good. That was actually pretty good in remake too. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it was difficult. Yeah. Rightfully so. Absolutely, and it needed to be because we needed that in our lives. And props to Jake Kaufman for re redoing a lot of the music on there. He was one of the main guys on. The oh really? Yeah, as far as the music that goes. That is totally. And he also did the music to DuckTales, the, the remake, the remaster. Oh, the remake one? Is yeah. He? Jake Kaufman actually did that too. He's really responsible for a lot of stuff. Yeah, I need to. I still need to play that one too. The Tales of Master. Oh, it's so good. Dude. It looks just like what? Okay, yeah. I totally didn't remember that. Beat him up. Yeah, just, just beat him up. Yeah, with... just come over here, guys. Oh no! Don't beat me. I'll just you know chill back here. Dang. <laughs> Is he dead? Yeah, he's totally dead. That is cool. Damn. Bam. Oh, nice. Did you ever play the Double Dragons uh, and Battletoads game? Dude! One of the most hardest games ever. 
Like seriously, Battletoads Double Dragon I think is like one of the harder games. I could not beat that game without the freaking cheat. <laughs> Except for one time. One time I did it. But no one was there to see it. So it's like, this is kind of worthless. <laughs> like, yeah, I totally did it. But nobody believes me. Yeah, no one believes me. No one's gonna believe me now. It's I like it's, it's it's like saying, oh man, I just threw the biggest fart ever, and no one believes you. <laughs> and you're like, no, this this is a fart that you need to be proud of. But no one the cares. The biggest fart ever. The biggest fart ever in the history oh, of evidence. Goodness. Casey Jones over here will leave me alone. Oh, I try to do the Tatsu, and he just nope. Yeah. Says it's denied. No. Yeah, Casey Jones there is. Uh, he's, oh. he's not too fond of Tatsus. No, he's not. Oh yeah. Credits. Yeah, we, we actually okay. have a, a finite amount of, of stuff. But do you know what? Oh, dude. Knock him out. Punching bag. Punching bag. Let's punch this bag. Oh, look at oh, Can you pick it up? I believe you can. For some reason, it's not letting me. Oh, there it is. Okay. Dang. Bam! How do you like some heavy bag? <laughs> heavy bags on you. You want some heavy bag? How about it? How about a game of Lucky Hit? Lucky you want, Hit? You want to play a game of Lucky Hit? You're up, sir. You're up. And you're dead. Oh, man. I'm so excited for the Shenmue review. I want to I want to play some Lucky Hit. Lucky Hit? Yeah. <laughs> no, that was, that was that one was of the minigames? Yeah, that was one of the minigames over there in uh, Shenmue 2, actually. Oh. And, uh, roll them on top. Oh, roll them on top. It's so good, dude. I love that game so much. There was, like, a... Picture that uh, the main guy that created the game tweeted out, and it was like nobody got it except for like four Shenmue fans. Yeah. He he tweeted a picture of uh, a forklift. Oh yeah. Right before it, because he was like, yeah, something's coming, and he tweeted that picture, and he like, were going nuts. Like, oh, oh I know what's coming. Shenmue. Oh oh oh. Oh, oh shit. Okay. Um. FYI on these characters, don't kick them. The don't boss guy them. in the middle, do not kick them. Alright, so we gotta just punch. Yeah, punch it. There you go. You want to eat this today? You want a knuckle sandwich, bruh? Sandwich? All day. You hungry? You have some bread? Well, guess what? Knuckle sandwich! <laughs> Double whammy. Okay, boy. Here. Actually, I guess you can kick him. You just have to do a double kick. You can't do a normal kick. I'll also get that. Oh, okay. <laughs> See how he just grabbed my foot and just kind of pushed me down? Alright, so... Oop. Alright. Just double. Oh, he's dead. And jump. Oh. Bam. You guys are the swords. That's not fun. You're not fun. You're not Whoa, my friend where did anymore. I go? Oh, you're up there. Oh, I kind of like glitched or disappeared there for a second. <laughs> it happens, especially with the red with the red swordsman. Yeah, like it, it happens. Like, and it can get confusing a little too, especially when I get the really blue swordsman. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is a good one. You know, I, I never noticed that this game didn't have like the health bars for the characters to like the enemies. Oh yeah. Like you know how like in Final Fight, you have like the names of the characters like yeah. Oh yeah. Ned, it tells you Mark. Names. Mark and Mac and yeah. This, this one's kind of like they don't have health bars. Kind of cool. They're like that's eh, not needed. Just like no. But no after way. a while, you kind of get the hang of it, and you're like, okay, they're, like, they're about to die. Yeah. They did. Oh, he dang. He, like, he kicked sweet me. shin music. He kicked me out of air. That's crazy. That's crazy talk. Oh, dude. Here's time. Mm -hmm. Stay thirsty, my friends. Mm-mm. This, this sounds so good right here. Oh yes, it is. There was a remake, and I, oh, I forget who did it. I think it's Paragon 9X. He did a remix of this song and kind of dubstepped it up. 
Holy shit, dude. Amazing most amazing sauce. Most amazing remake I've ever heard. Remakes of music. Mm-hmm. I love... Uh, have you ever heard of the, the website uh, Overclocks? Uh, Overclocks.com or Overclock.com? No, okay, so it. it's a website that has a lot of remixes and remakes of, of video game music, actually. Uh -huh. And it's like all of it on there. Paragon 9X, he's actually one of the big guys on there. I mean, not, not big, he's not huge, huge, but... But he makes some good <laughs> stuff. I have yet to hear a song that I'm like, eh, okay, you know. Everything I've heard from him is just amazing. I'm like, oh man, keep it up. Is it like what's good? Like... Or uh, like a mixture of like different kinds? Or? Yeah, a, a mixture of like more modern games and old school NES games, Super Nintendo, Sega, stuff like that. It's really good. Ah. And uh, I don't know if you played Castle Crashers, actually. Oh shit, you're getting asked for that. I What am I doing? <laughs> Listen to, to me. I have to I'm not um, doing anything. But uh, if you've ever played Castle Crashers, he actually did one of the songs on there also. And it has what? this kind of Asian sound to it, too. Whoa. You know, we would have been dead in real life. But Thank God this is in real life. Watch out the clown! Whoa. <clears throat> Yo. Yeah, no, the, the clown dude is no joke. He does? And he moonwalks his way out of here, see <laughs> that? That's, that's the way to roll, man. When you know you're a badass and you don't want to deal with people, Moonwalk Moon out. <laughs> Just deal with it. So guess what? Start moonwalking. I wish I could do that. Moonwalk away. Sometimes, sometimes you get those people that you're like, uh, uh, do I really waste my breath on this person? I don't know, I just tend to ignore them. You go, yeah? You don't deserve my attention. Dang! Ooh! I threw a knife to his face. That one was pretty sweet. He deserved it.